Hello everybody, welcome to season three, episode 67 of a show I like to call Walking in Montana with famous mm. paleontologists. Um, I'm here with one of my heroes who's really changed my life, Dr. Jack Horner. How are you today? I'm just perfect. Good. Well, we're going to film two episodes. In the next one, we're headed over there to find some Devonian rock and we'll have some rock talk. But in this one, you blew my mind, I think two days ago, you have a new gig in LA where you're teaching about the origins of things, everything from the origins of the universe to the origins of consciousness. Yep. And that grabbed me and I said, what is the origin of consciousness, Dr. Jack Horner? And then you said, well, I can convince you that a slime mold is conscious. Right. And I said, go for it. And you did. And so convince all of us that a yep. slime mold is conscious. First of all, you have to understand that a slime mold is technically is just a single cell organism. So it's kind of like an amoeba. Right. And as an individual, they do like all single celled organisms and they crawl around looking for something to eat. Like us. And exactly, <laughs> just like us. The whole world is about consumption. So, um, the cool thing is, is that, is that, is that when a slime mold individual runs out of food, it sends out some chemical signals, mm -hmm. and others of its species pick those up, and if they're hungry, they send out signals, mm -hmm. and pretty soon, all of the different individuals, realizing they're really hungry, right, right come together to form a slug-like thing. They, uh, mm -hmm. they come, they pile on top of one another, mm -hmm. and, and they literally become a multicellular organism. Mm. And that multicellular organism then can move as a larger structure. Right. Um, people put, oftentimes will put slime mold individuals in a petri dish right and after they eat everything in a petri dish they crawl they come together and they crawl out of the petri right. dish and go look for somewhere else to eat and you and can't compare it to bees or ants because those are multicellular right right even though they act like a superorganism so these right. are a single cell that act like a superorganism they come together to, uh -huh. yeah to form a almost a metazoan like creature yeah right. and and now how are they conscious though well so so people have been doing these experiments with them. Mm -hmm. And um, once they're together, they, they, have, they have these cool things that they do. They'll put them in a maze, for example. And, and basically what they do is they put food at, at, at one end of the maze. They mm -hmm. put the organism at, at one end, and then they put food at the other end. Right. And basically the, what it does is it, it does what we would do too. It goes through every piece of the maze, right. finds the food, and then retracts all of its parts except for the shortest distance to the food. Wow. And if you lop off that piece, uh -huh. that part of it that has... Knows that the has, fastest route. Right. Mm -hmm. it, it will actually just go right straight it back remembers. There. It remembers. That's weird, man. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. And they put them in, in a structure sometimes where, where, you know, they start branching out looking for food mm -hmm. and, and they separate them with a wall mm -hmm. that, that then has an end to it so that when they're branching out, they're going around the wall and then mm -hmm. when they finally can get past the wall, the two arms come together and when they touch one another, one of them retracts because it knows it's, it's the same self -aware. unit exactly. self-aware it's self-aware it's aware of itself right it's not just running into another slime mold like hey right it's going, and knows it's right. me yeah it knows it's it it knows okay. itself yeah right and that is weird and there's something else with threat detection and then they they also another experiment they shine light on it and they when they're when they're moved they don't like light and so when they're when they're branching out to find food if they shine light on it it retracts all right and then the next time it goes forward they shine light again and it retracts yeah. all right 
the next time it goes out they don't shine light and it retracts wow so it anticipates and so so this is a wild experiment and i agree it it definitely feels like consciousness but what is what does that tell you about consciousness well i you know i think the most important thing when it comes to anything is defining it right Mm -hmm. and so you know my definition um, certainly um, might be very different than yours, but mm-hmm. mine, you know, I sim- simply self-awareness, right? Yeah. I mean, that's, we always say that, self-awareness. Yeah. yeah. And the slime mold is self-aware, so, you know, it's, you don't want it, you, you know, right. we, we, we think of ourselves as being so special. Right. And, and here's a slime yeah. mold, you know, that's, that's doing something that we think is special and yeah. then and then we think well we probably need to add a few more things right yeah. because who wants a slime mold to be right. as, as cool as, as us that. yeah right? and if a slime mold is conscious then a plant is conscious and a rat is conscious and a dolphin and a cow and, and everything has consciousness well, but you know and then yeah. uh, but then you know you have to kind of demonstrate it to, mm. so the 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 uh, the slime mold demonstrates it literally to us, right? Mm. So we, we can see that it's actually aware of itself. Right. It's hard to tell that uh, that the different branches of a tree are aware mm. that they're the same tree, right? Right. Because we don't really see any. Probably is. Yeah. But we don't see any real example of that. Yeah. The slime mold is giving it's us harder a to test. really good example. It's easier to test slime mold consciousness than right. tree consciousness. Exactly. Yes. Interesting. <laughs> All right. Hey, let's go find some Devonian rocks. Okay, let's go. All right, see you guys in the next episode. Love you. Bye. If you want to know more about Jack and what he's up to, just look down in the description. You can see all of his various pursuits. <laughs>